Hi, I'm Benofi, and you're watching the AU Review at Big Sound 2014. Benofi, um, great to talk to you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Um, Big Sound 2014, an exciting week, a very uh, busy week. Yeah, I've never been here before, so yeah. it's, it's buzzing, it's exciting. What's your week at Big Sound going to be like? Um, I'm playing tonight on the Future Classic, Future Classic stage. Um, and tomorrow I've got a couple of interviews lined up again and I'm just really hoping to be able to pack in a swim somewhere. Um, I played the Dance to Wednesday party last night, which was really fun. That's um, the one with client liaison played as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, I fly home Thursday night. Now, um, let's talk about your exciting debut EP. Yes. Released very recently. Um, yeah, can you talk a little bit about, yeah, about the EP for me? Yeah, um, so it's just been released. It's been a long time in the works, so it feels like really good to just sort of shrug it out and be like, hey guys, this is what I've been working on for a long time. <laughs> um, it's five tracks. Uh, three of them have already been released, so there's just two others on there that people haven't heard. Um, I wrote it over about a year and recorded it just in my bedroom and with the co-producer Oscar Kisang, um in his bedroom. Um, so it was really fun to make and it's quite a personal um, EP for me. You know, it's it's a very honest, honest sort of release. So it's been a bit scary to release. It's really showing a lot of myself to everyone, but I'm really excited to do it and I'm really excited to um, play this and then the Melbourne and Sydney launches as well. So it's all coming up. <laughs> Got to get ready. And when are the, the Melbourne and Sydney launches? Uh, Melbourne is the 19th at Shabin. 19th of September? Of yep. And um, Sydney is the 20th of September at Good God. Um, and that will be with Yoke and Lewin is DJing. So it should be a really fun night. Hopefully I get someone there. I don't know. I've never headlined in Sydney. And uh, you told me before you've got some travel plans coming up. Uh, exciting travel plans too. Where, where yeah. are you off to soon? Um, I'm flying over to the States on the 16th of October. Um, I'm going to be playing CMJ, which I'm really excited about. Um, a couple of shows in LA and Nashville. And then just um, doing some writing with different producers. Hopefully be working with some people to put some featurettes down. And pretty much just like playing around with some writers from over there. And um, getting some things in the works for the next release. I'm hoping to have an album next year. So I've got to get my head down and start writing. And of course, CMJ, hopefully you'll be playing at the Aussie Barbecue, will that be right? I don't think I am, no. actually, oh, right. yeah. Um, I'm playing with my management over there, which is Vitalik Noise. Mm -hmm. So they've booked a, a couple of shows for me. Um, but we were sort of late um, on the arrival, so I don't, I don't think I'm on the Aussie stage. But you'll be around anyway. You'll I will be, be around, definitely. <laughs> CMJ, of course, you know, one of my favourite music conferences, so... You'll be checking out Brooklyn as well, any chance? Be I love Brooklyn, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm staying in Brooklyn. I've been there before and I'm a big fan of New York. If I could live somewhere else, it'd be New York. So I'll definitely be lapping it up while I'm there. And of course, lots of Australians are also over there. They are. As well, it seems to be. Besides LA where, you know, it's kind of synonymous. Australians go to LA, but New York, it's quite a few of us over there. I know. It's because we're good at making coffee and they're starting to appreciate that too. That's Every good place. coffee shop oh, yeah. has an Australian accent. Any place where you can get a flat white in exactly. America is New York. Yeah, that's right. Well, you have to report, obviously, on that, your, your, your coffee hunting trip. I will. <laughs> New York. I will. I've got a couple of favorites, but I'm ready to have an open mind and find some newies. Yeah. What's, uh, what's on the horizon after, after CMJ for you? Uh, I get back in the middle of November, so smack bang when um, Melbourne Music Week starts. So I'm doing a couple of shows in Melbourne Music Week, um, which will be really fun. I'm doing one with Spook, um, doing one with Two Bright Lakes. And then I go into New Year's time, which will be um, I'm playing the Lost Valley Festival and Paradise Festival as well. So I'll be pretty busy around those like months leading up to Christmas. Um, which I'm really excited about. And then I'm, I'm hoping to take a month off at some point to just write some more music, get an album out and um, have something new. So January, February will be my time to sort of hide away, I think. Country or beach, I'm going to find a little cabin somewhere, some sort of shack, borrow some gear and just hide away for a month, I think. I actually have a house in Mount Martha. Um, 
So I might end up there for a while, just um, in one of the rooms upstairs with all of my gear. But it definitely helps to like escape the city life to get some stuff done. So I will be aiming to sort of like, I don't know, hide away somewhere for a little bit of time. Any idea what your, your next songs are going to be like? Is, is there any ideas brewing in your head at the moment? Um, tracks? I'm trying really hard not to commit to genres and mm. um, I've been asked a lot about, you know, whether similar themes will be coming through my album, like, narratively. Um, for me, it's all about whatever moment and whatever sort of place I'm in at the time that I'm writing the piece. Uh, some of the songs I've written for the album are a lot more electronic influenced. Um, Let's Go to the Beach, which is on the EP, is sort of like hinting towards that a little bit and that area that I'm going towards. Um, but I've also been listening to a lot of R&B and um, folk and country and I think a lot of different influences will come out on there. I just bought myself a new guitar and I got my viola back out from underneath the bed so they'll be in there somewhere as well. Well, we can't wait to uh, see what comes out of this, you know, mishmash of different uh, instruments and genres. Ah, uh, we you. wish you all the best for Big Sound and also for CMJ. Thanks, man. And um, yeah, we'd love to uh, we'll catch up with you over over the summer at the, at the festival circuit. So thank you for uh, talking to me today. Cool. Thank you for having me. Have a good festival.